So a wise man once told me, <clears throat> you buy cattle, sell cattle, make a deal on cattle. You're supposed to uh, celebrate, congratulate yourself, and give yourself a pat on the back, or the man you made the deal with, with a drink. Now that wise man told me it's usually a big old glass of bourbon. Well, <clears throat> the old brown devil days are over for me. Actually, they've been over since <clears throat> August of 2005. And we are not going to tell that story. You'll never get that story out of me. That's, uh, that's put in my lockbox. It's staying there and it's never coming out. Anyway... Uh, that being said, oh, what the heck was that? Fred, you old buzzard, you. Changing it up here just a little bit. We're, uh, we're burning sexy back. <clears throat> the old classic Strohs. Uh, markets, <laughs> markets continue to be, uh, uh, they're, they're doing something. They continue to be what they are. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we're in runnings here for Stroh's Classic and Ham's Light, what's the cheapest, you know. It's all about saving a dollar. You save a dollar, you make a dollar, right? Yeah. Fred, you old buzzard. Uh, sorry about the absence. It's been a little while. Uh she's she's been a rat race lots to do just trying to keep up keeping up isn't a problem um <clears throat> just a uh, lot going on uh well we'll start this out by uh we'll put it this way the pumps in the gutter system the gutter's got some water in it we are on our last day of a three-day <clears throat> crappy, crappy weather. Now, to be honest with you, the temperature isn't too damn bad. By the way, it's April 29th. It's a Wednesday evening. It's about 6.30. <clears throat> temperature is about 45 degrees, but I'm here to tell you it feels like it's in the teens. That cold wind, that rain. Um... Yeah, it doesn't take a keen eye to see that things are back to being a mess here. We're on the high road to glory <clears throat> with, uh, with all the dry down, the weather that we were having. Hell, I got a lot of manure out. You guys know that. Let's talk about this setup right here. <laughs> yep. Well, there's two reasons for that, and they're not all set up, by the way. So anyway, back to my story. Yeah, I shipped uh, I shipped a bunch of calves here today. Uh, feeder calves, mostly steel steers, some uh, some heifers. <clears throat> heifers, I do not uh, prefer to keep back, respectfully. Uh, if it pleases anybody to know, um, I'm keeping back 18 heifers uh, for this operation <clears throat> um, in order to, uh, for breeding here, uh, starting in July, keeping back 18 heifers. Now understand something here, I'm a smaller operator. I'm proud to admit that, I'm okay with that, I'm good with that. <clears throat> Contrary to some popular belief... Um, I can't hardly afford, this farm can't hardly afford to keep back 18 heifers from one year. Not at the operation and size that I am, but I can't hardly afford to ship them either. Make that make sense, Fred. Uh... <clears throat> This farm is growing. It's not being revamped. 
Uh, it's not in building stages. That would be disrespectful to say. <clears throat> uh, this farm is in good standing and was in good standing um, and always has been in good standing. Um, I'm, uh, it's no secret. It's been a, quite a while now. I am sole owner of the farm. And it's in growing stages. Growing stages and, shall I say, a yunning up stage. Uh, if you can keep up with my lingo. So like I said, yeah, I, I shipped some animals today. Not all of them. Uh, I've got my choice of two different more, two more different <coughs> feeder sales coming up within the next week and uh, uh, two and a half, three weeks from now. Uh, I've got a few more to get, I got a handful more to get rid of, but uh, yeah. Anyway, bulls are doing good. May 26th has been decided. Yeah, there's a lot of you that can say what you want to right now. I don't care. These are my buddies. They know who's boss around here. They know. And uh, by the way, I'm keeping both of these right here. These two. My decision was made. Um, <clears throat> we'll talk more about uh, where they come from, who they come from, and everything else. You dirty, rotten pigs. And uh, these two are going to be for sale. Move it. I cleaned all the pens yesterday morning. I failed in a barn cleaning yesterday morning and failed one on one this morning. <coughs> There's other things to do. It's just got to wait. I'm going to run the barn cleaner tomorrow morning, though, and uh, clean this up a little bit. Uh, this pile here comes from the stock trailer from hauling, uh, hauling calves here today. Got to make sure and clean that out. All right. Here's half the reason those hutches are set up. You, you've got a belly full of warm milk in you. There's no reason to cry. All right, folks, these are, uh, <laughs> these are beef calves. I had to pull them, had to, period, end of story. Come on, what are you crying about? You got it made. <clears throat> um, yeah, I know. This one right here is missing, and uh, she's missing her mama. Uh, each one of them that are in here are uh, they're problem calves. There's no other way to put it. Uh, the one that's bellering right now, 1092. Um, she belongs to a cow that was a perfect mother attention everything else she just she would not latch on the mom has got more than extra normal large size teats off the udder personally i don't think that that should have been i'm not going to blame it on that but the calf would not latch on i've been running bottles out there twice a day you just got fed uh, for multiple, multiple days, I'm done. No. I got other things to do. I can't keep playing doctor out in the cow yard. This is a cow-calf operation. Um, I find it uh, very disgruntled that I'm even uh, pulling these beautiful beef calves. Um, you know, as a small operator, it's not what you're wanting to do. But there's no choice in the matter. So the one that was Bellerin that got up <clears throat> with the red tag, that's a heifer. She would not latch on. Uh, the other one standing up with the green tag, 2024. Uh, what's your story? Okay, that, believe this story if you will, that is one of the three set of twins that I had. 2024, 
um, and his sister, so it was a heifer and a bull calf. Now the heifer's automatic free martin. Basically what that means is it's never going to produce. It doesn't have the, uh, uh, the, the uh, correct uh, reproductive innards to do so. 99.9%. .9%. Believe it or not, come on man, I'm trying to make a movie here. <laughs> you little shits. Yeah, they're good calves. The mom decided to take Foley and Soli on the free Martin Heifer. And we waited days, kept running bottles out there because she wasn't letting 2024 nurse. He's a good looking bull calf. Well, he's a, he's a steer now. Um, so I had to pull him. The games are over. I don't have time for that stuff, whether you agree with that or not. Uh, okay, and then there's another little heifer calf right here. Um, what is the story there? Okay, complete abandonment. Complete, fully, and solely abandonment. Um, I found that calf. I'm glad I seen it, for God's sakes. Glad I was paying attention. The one that's laying down, that's a heifer calf. The mom completely abandoned it which is going on the call list. I've got no room for that here. None. You good looking girl, you. I'll take you. I will. So yeah, she got abandoned. Uh, I've been running bottles out there to her as well for uh, two days. And this morning, I finally said the heck with it all. I can't keep doing this. I'm not going to keep doing it. I would have to keep doing it if I let it go. So they all got pulled. Period. So their uh, 1092, she had an eye problem on her left eye, blind. I'm here to tell you, it's coming back, though. The pupil's coming back. I don't know enough to say, say a whole lot right now, but... Um, You've got no reason to be screaming like this. None. Well, except for that you're missing your mom. But I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's just, we're going to call it life. You'll be very well taken care of. Very well. If you grow up in a good shape, good condition, good health, you can even stay here. Huh? Does that sound like a deal? There you go. Yeehaw. He's a rambunctious little son of a gun. So anyway, that's the story behind that. Hated to do it. Had to be done. Uh, <clears throat> Hutchers are set up. Now, <clears throat> I would have liked to have put them in there today or even a couple of them yesterday. I snagged a couple of them yesterday. But with this, uh, with the with the rain, the storm, it, it, multiple days. Why, why? There's a nice dry, somewhat clean barn here. I'll just put them all in there until tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, everything should be kind of dried out. The storm is going to stop. Actually, about three o'clock in the morning. <coughs> I'm going to bed down some hutches, and they're going to be in there, and they're going to be bottle fed for uh, about 55 days. Um, my rule of thumb is 60, 60 days bottle fed, but, um, you know, they got a, they got a heck of a, a start and we'll go from there. The other reason for the hutches, cause you know, of course you've seen, you've seen six of them and I'm going to lose you here in a little bit. Uh, dad is, uh, going to acquire, um, some Holstein bottle caps. Um, We'll go from there. Let's see what happens. I don't know. Uh, these turkeys, they got to be shipped yet. Uh, I'm not keeping any one of these three, not a one of them, including um, <clears throat> this one. Dad's keeping 3004, which was a bull, but is now a steer. 
Um, dad wants to keep him. I basically, uh, I'm not going to say sold him to dad, but dad's going to acquire him uh, and raise him out and feed him out. Uh, <clears throat> this devil bastard here, excuse my language, kids. I really apologize about that. Um, <clears throat> is being shipped as well. And there's about another, quit all that now. There's another small handful that got to go. So that's where we're at. All right, let's talk about fertilizer. Um, I failed you in some other videos. I had got an immense amount of fertilizer out on Saturday. Um, <clears throat> Saturday, actually, the, a storm came in. Uh, I was by like 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. And so uh, <clears throat> I went ahead and put in an order and I got a lot more hay ground covered with fertilizer. But uh, boy, I was running and a gunning to beat that storm. And now we've had three, almost four days worth of uh, wet weather, cold weather, high winds. <clears throat> uh, kind of ruined our little road to glory here with uh, the dry down. But uh, there's not a lot of complaints that can be had right now for this year between the weather, the early good weather that we've had, and then of course calving season. Now, we concentrated on a, quite a few negatives here. To be honest with you, the positives are outweigh the negatives by a, a long shot. Things are going fantastic. Uh, they're about to come to a little lull though. Uh, for example, this week, <clears throat> there's been two days this week already, tomorrow's gonna be another one, where there's no calves to tag, uh, doctor in any kind of way or nothing because there was nothing born today. We're starting to experience now the bulls last year going lame. And they did, they both did. In fact, so bad to where they were actually collected and put back in the pens to heal up. So, <clears throat> I guarantee you we got about three, four, maybe even five more coming calves. But after that, there's going to be about a week, week and a half, maybe even two week period where uh, there won't be any. And then all the AI calves are going to start. So kind of looking forward to it. Uh, <clears throat> things have been fair, just a little bit hard to keep up. But that's, <laughs> you know, that's that, that's life. It's It's called work. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, yeah, so shipped out some calves. They're going to land at the United Producers Incorporated barn in St. Louis, Michigan for their Friday, yes, in two days sale. And uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. It's, it's going to be real funny, uh, interesting getting a check. We'll see what it is. I don't know. Doesn't matter anyway, folks. It all goes to the feed mill for feed, seed, and fertilizer. It's a vicious, never-ending cycle that never stops. But it's all right. With a little bit of luck, in fact, I see this happening. Uh, today's Wednesday. Storm stops at about 3 in the morning. We got a real good day. We got a fair day tomorrow. And then a blasting of a sun. 63 degree weather coming for Friday. The possibility of getting that cultivator out and turning a little bit of soil <clears throat> Friday evening is very great. <clears throat> so one of two things is going to happen if we don't talk before that. Friday evening, uh, for a Friday video, we're either going to go out to the cow yard. The weather's just nasty, folks. That and it's sloppy out there. Right now, you don't want to see it. I really don't want to show it to you, and I've got nothing to hide. One of two things. We're either going to do a cow yard, cow lot video and show you all the calves, 
or we're going to be in the field Friday evening turning a little bit of soil. We'll see what happens. I don't know. We've gotten one hell of a bout, uh, an amount of moisture. I have this feeling that it's going to be just a little greasy out in those fields. And I got to be honest with you, it's keeping me up at night, that 18-foot cultivator on my 6150M. I don't think I have any room for uh, greasy fields in getting something done. We'll find out. The joke might be on me, but I think we'll be okay. So, yeah, these guys here, uh, the uh, fertility test, semen test, whatever you want to call it, scheduled for May 26th, which means I have a little bit of time to come up with their second home. They've been on concrete all winter long. They're handling it great. They're in great condition. I'm proud as a peacock with these bulls right here. I really am. <coughs> but when the fertility test is over on the 26th, I by God need to have a uh, somewhere else for them to go on soft ground. Uh, for all of them, but especially these two right here. These two are going to work for me. And we'll get down to science on... Uh, where these two come from, they are all AI sired, and um, we'll go from there. Pretty happy. Other than that, I don't really have much else here, folks. I know I've been lacking on the videos, but I know you understand that life can get... Uh... <laughs> Ooh, she's been rambunctious. She's been rambunctious. In fact, I'll freely admit I've been having microwaved hot dogs at dinner at night, watching a half old western going to bed. I'm not fancy though, so that's right up my alley. Uh, that's about it. We'll see what happens tomorrow. <clears throat> Maybe we can throw on a video. Something. I'm not going to be able to do a whole lot tomorrow, just for general upkeep. And uh, <clears throat> we'll kind of go from there. Everything and everybody is doing just fine. Doing just fine. You good looking son of a gun, you. Huh? I throw you to the ground in two seconds. I just want you to know that. And I know you know that. <clears throat> it's when I clean your pen, you stay away from me. Two seconds is all it'd take me, buddy. Maybe a little longer than that. These boys have gotten big in a hurry. Um, they might not seem like it to you, they have to me. Uh, and that's just, just the power of good grain rations uh, twice a day. Same with these little tykes here. They were little tykes, and I mean, they still are. Um, <clears throat> but uh, their, their growth and their condition, I don't think it could be argued with. A uh, little different scenario, though. I mean, they, they are confined and... Anyway, that's it. I got to get going. I have a pile of paperwork to do tonight. Uh, I need to add on the 18 heifers I'm keeping back to my uh, farm roster uh, <clears throat> for breeding season coming up here starting July 1st. All goes well. AI breeding is starting July 1st. I might throw in a little surprise there and do some AI breeding, some specialized uh, semen straws um, for uh, specifically for breeding bulls. Because, <clears throat> of course, I took this year off. I'm not keeping any bulls out there. There's no bull calves. They become steers. They're banded. Um, I am tinkering with the idea of starting... Uh, some AI with some specialized uh, 
magic that I got and I'll share with you uh, in the month of June. But I, I really, I, I need to think about that. We'll see what happens. But uh, that's about it, folks. 25-minute video. Uh, that's about enough jibber jabbering. I got to get going. Hope everybody's doing real good right now. Hope you're doing okay. You got a nice weekend coming up. And uh, at the absolute latest, we will do a video Friday evening somewhere, somewhat. Talk to you sooner and later.